I'm Troy Kirby with MLT News with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. The Senate's Housing and Local Government Committee held a public hearing on Senate Bill 5139 on January 21st. The legislation would cap landlord rent increases after the expiration of the state's eviction moratorium. This bill recognizes that we are still in a recession. We are still in a state of emergency that more than 175,000 people in Washington are currently behind on rent. Uh, landlords who own multiple properties are testifying that they could lose profit, lose income, and have to make uh, business decisions to sell a property. Um, here's the thing though, the renters that I work with could be pushed into homelessness and houselessness and lose their health and lives. This bill fails to solve a core Washington problem, the lack of rental units. According to a recent study, we need 10,000 units built every year in Washington to keep up. My patients who are rent burdened often don't have the capacity left to care for themselves. I see visit after visit how their health is declining. While unemployment has dropped over 60%, the percentage of elective non-payers, those with income choosing not to pay, has doubled. Uncontrolled rent increases when the eviction moratorium ends will force families out of their homes during a pandemic. If this last year has proven anything, it should be that rent control will cause less housing, less quality housing, and less jobs. For the last 11 months, we have been unable to increase rents. Our budgets have become powerless to keep up with normal and anticipated annual increases that simply don't stop. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by MLT News, covering the 2021 legislative session.